Let's dive into the world of ChatGPT prompts and how to optimize them for better results. For example, write a blog post about the top five destinations for digital nomads. This is a very basic prompt or instruction. Even still, I've got quite a good result here. It's got the top five destinations, but this could be seriously optimized with a better prompt. So I want to introduce you to the RICE framework. This is what it looks like. RICE stands for Role, Instructions, Context, Constraints and Examples. And let's build up this prompt step by step and you're going to see the incredible difference that it makes. Now, a note that creating prompts like this is really known as prompt engineering and people are making a fortune doing this because of the results that the right prompts can get and people are even selling their prompts now it's like their own personal ip it's an incredible opportunity so this is going to be the basic process and who knows you might even start doing this for yourself and the first thing you need to do is assign a role to chat gpt what i'm going to do is as we're trying to write a travel blog, I'm going to assign the role as a travel writer. And next we need to provide the instructions. So I'm going to ask it to research and describe the top five destinations, include information on cost of living, internet connectivity and co-working spaces, share tips on visas and consider ex cultural experiences, etc. Next, we want to move on to context. You could say who your target audience is for this blog or maybe you want simple language or it needs to be up to date. I'm going to say this is aimed at aspiring digital nomads looking for their next adventure. Now constraints, this is also important. You want to set the boundaries for ChatGPT to keep it on track. So here are some examples. Keep the blog post between 1500 and 2000 words. Ensure the content is up to date and use a friendly and informative tone throughout. Finally, we're going to move on to providing some examples. This can be a really good way to get the results that you want. I've just copied in here a paragraph from an article that I like the writing style of. It was friendly and it contained some of the information. So looks a little bit messy there, but we've got our rice framework. Let's hit enter and see how much better this is than our basic prompt. Already, I think this looks a lot better. We've got an opening paragraph. Are you an aspiring digital nomad looking for your next adventures? This is who the target audience is. It's much more uh, eye catching. If we look back and we can see this here, the introduction for our basic prompt wasn't that great, but here you can see it's got a great opening paragraph. It's written very user friendly. It looks like it's written by a human. Bali is a paradise for digital nomads. Lisbon is the European gem of digital nomads. Medellin known as the, the city of eternal spring. Chiang Mai hotspot for years. That's much better written because our prompt was much better. Now the good news is you don't have to come up with all of the stuff uh, like I showed you there. I filled in all of those those items one by one, which you might be thinking, oh, that looks like a lot of work. But what you can just say is, I want you to write a blog post about the top five destinations. Help me create an optimized prompt using the RICE framework. You can list it out like that. Just hit enter. And this will generate, and you can see, this is almost better than what I did. Your role as a travel blogger, and you're writing this, here's instructions. And so you can take the prompt that ChatGPT gave you, the optimized prompt, you could optimize it even further and then use that. So try it out for yourself. The better your prompts, the better your outputs.